Two weeks ago, Josh Duggar was transferred to Federal Correctional Institute Siegelville to serve his 151-month sentence. During sentencing, Josh's defense team had recommended Siegelville or Texarkana so Josh would still be close to his family. Generally, the Bureau tries to keep them within 500 miles from their homes, so Judge Timothy L. Brooks decided to send Josh to Siegelville due to their high-end treatment program for SOs. So what has Josh Duggar's life actually been like inside Siegelville so far? Let's get into that. Welcome back besties to Tea with Trishy. How are you doing today? Currently, Siegelville is under a level three for operations due to C-19. They are placed into a level three if medical isolation is greater than 7% or if less than 50% of the population is vaccinated or if transmission is greater than 100 per 100,000 within a week. Level three is the highest level with the most restrictive of environments. Face masks are required at all times. Everyone is also required to remain six feet apart for social distancing in all areas. Although not ideal, it is the best way to keep everyone safe. Upon entry, Josh was interviewed and screened by staff from the case management, medical, and mental health units. Then, Josh was assigned his admissions and orientations program, which is a week's worth of training and orientation. The morning after Josh's arrival, he was given his clothing he will use for the next 151 months. He was given five shirts, five underwear, one pair of shoes, five pairs of pants, one belt, and five pairs of socks. In addition, he was also given two sheets, a pillowcase, and three towels, along with one blanket. All of his clothing will have to be properly tagged with his name and registration number. If he is caught in possession of his clothing not being properly tagged with his name and registration number, Josh will receive disciplinary action. Now I hope he remembers his skills that he learned in kindergarten with putting his name inside his clothing. His clothing must be clean and wrinkle free. He must button his shirt and keep them tucked into his pants at all times. He must wear a belt and his collar has to be left out. He cannot roll it up, put it up, try to be fancy at all. Shoes must be laced and tied and pant legs must be worn over the outside of his shoes. Josh is not allowed to wear excessively tight or loose fitting clothes, so no sagging and bagging. Josh was then assigned to a specific unit team and he will have his formal meeting within two to four weeks of his arrival. This means in the next two weeks, he will be having his formal meeting with his unit. Within their living quarters, they have some very, very strict rules that Josh is gonna have to get used to. He's gonna have to be sweeping and mopping the floors daily. He needs to make sure he's underneath the beds, cleaning underneath there, underneath the radiators and the lockers. He needs to be washing down the walls daily to make sure there's no spills, nothing splashed on the walls. Also, he's gonna have to be cleaning windows daily. In addition to that, he's gotta make sure his bed is made nice and tight military style. You know the kind where you drop the quarter and it should bounce off the bed every single day. He's gotta make sure his shoes are put nice and neat. They have to be facing toe sticking out from underneath the bed. It's going to have to be down there cleaning the baseboards, making sure they're immaculate every single day. He's also going to have to empty his trash daily. At Club Fed, they do have a zero tolerance for SA, so that should be good news for Josh. In addition, this facility has many people who are there for the same reason as Josh, as we heard the inmates say on the leaked audio. If you have not seen my video on that, I will link it in the description below. While at Club Fed, Josh will have the opportunity to expand his knowledge through literacy classes, parenting classes, wellness education, adult continuing education. Now, although he would be responsible to pay for any college level courses, he is allowed to take those as well. Everything else is included for free. Josh will have access to library services and instruction in leisure time activities. 
Other amenities at Club Fit include free medical care. All essential medical, dental, and mental health services are provided at no additional cost. Studies have shown that when inmates maintain relationships with friends and family, it greatly reduces their risk of relapse. This is why Josh will be allowed 300 minutes a month of telephone time. He will be required to pay for those calls if there are any fees involved. Because Josh is part of a vulnerable population within the prison setting, Club Fed has special institutional assignments, unit management, psychology treatment programs, and reentry planning to promote the well-being of the SO while they are there. This helps both the offender and society by reducing the likelihood of reoffense after he's released. At this club, Josh is required to work. So maybe things he is receiving for free are not really free. Josh will be given a work assignment wherever the club needs him the most. Assignments can range from food service, warehouse, orderly, plumber, painter, groundskeeper, Josh will earn between 12 and 40 cents an hour for these work assignments, which means if Josh makes 12 cents an hour, Josh will need to work 1,666,666 hours to reach his previous net worth of 200,000. That's a lot of hours. This club fed is not sounding so nice after all. Now, after he serves his prison term, Josh will be subject to 20 years of supervised release, including several special conditions imposed by the judge at sentencing. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, Josh is not to have any unsupervised contact with minors, including his own kids. If he does want to see his kids, the visit must be supervised by his wife, Jim Bob, or Michelle Duggar, or another adult approved by the U.S. Probation Office. This is a whole other ball of wax I will get into on the next video. Please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you do not miss out on any quality time. Let's keep sipping some tea, besties, in one of these videos. I'll see you there.